my name's Mrs. Fister and I'm the head teacher of Kappa and I'm here to talk to you about visual arts and studying that for your one of your senior subjects. Now when I am talking to students a lot of the questions first of all are do I have to have studied visual arts in year 9 and 10 and the answer is no you can come to us at any stage of your development so if you did year 7 art and nothing else you can come and do visual arts um, for your senior studies the other question that I am asked a lot is uh, I love photography I only want to do photography or I'm just a ceramic student well we cater for all of those different types of forms so if you don't want to draw, if you don't want to paint, that's perfectly okay uh, with us because we're going to cater for your needs. It's about you and it's about you being creative and it's about you following your passion. I will run through some of the expressive forms that we do have on offer that you may have never ever um, experienced before and we, we play around a lot with those things in year 11 so that you get a really good understanding of what you can actually study for your HSC. So we've got drawing, we've got painting, we've got sculpture, documented forms, we've got photo media, film and video. We have fiber arts, we have design objects, graphic design. We also have collection of works. If you like a lot of those, you can actually do um, a combination of, of, of different varieties of expressive forms, as well as ceramics, and there's one more. But there's a very large, diverse um, range of, of different types of, of media that you can use. There's also a large, um, array of techniques and styles that you can use. The course is broken into two components. Uh, the first component is your art making, which everyone loves and understands. And the second component is your critical historical, where we'll actually take you on lots and lots of excursions, exposed to, to a lot of different artists, and we learn how to talk art and we learn how to critique artworks. So with those two components, you have, um, it's both weighted equally, so it's 50% of your marks come from your art making, 50% comes from your critical historical. One of the things that I'm really passionate about and really want you guys to understand is that you have a voice and this is the subject that you need to take if you want your voice heard. So hearing all that, that's just coming from me. I think I'm going to hand it over to some of our previous students and they can tell you a little bit about their experiences here at Warners Bay High School in visual arts. Action. Okay. Can I do that again, actually? Action. Beautiful. Probably, like, the interaction that you have with the teachers. Like, it's probably the most, like, the only subject check that you get, like, close with your teachers the most. Um, that you have, like more access to all the supplies and stuff and you can like do your own thing it's very like free range when you get older and the connection with teachers it's much stronger. It's like a more um, intimate relationship in the classroom with your classmates and your teacher and there's um, there's just trust in there that, that you know what you're doing and if not you've got someone there to help you. And even just like the going into the senior years like going on big scales like using huge boards and like just being able to use all the different um, equipment and everything it's just a whole like yeah it's a really good experience. Freedom to do whatever you want basically like you can explore any kind of medium um, that you want or not if you choose not to. It's like independent, like we're in junior, like they say, all right, this is our assessment task, everyone has to do this medium or everyone has to do this thing. In senior, it's just whatever you want to do, try things out, like especially year 11, you just trial and error, a bunch of things that you think will work, might not, but you just do it anyway. It's a everyone is like in on your work, like even just your friends and everything, everyone inputs into each other's work and it's such a progress progressive thing, like it doesn't just start and end it's kind of just like the whole journey of making it is like is important in a way just like every little step i did visual arts in for my hsc in 2017 and honestly i can say that i had such a fun time in that subject for those two years uh if 
the teachers are always there supporting you and pushing you along the way, especially if you're a bit like me and become very indecisive halfway through your major work. Uh, it's a, if you choose to do it, you genuinely surprise yourself with the skill set that you have um, already with a paintbrush or pencil or whatever medium you uh, decide to use and also surprise the skills you can gain. So I learned so much during those two years of school. Um, and yeah, if you guys are considering doing it for year, year 11 and year 12, I honestly couldn't recommend it any higher. It's such a fun time and it was definitely my favourite part of my HSA and you know, year 11 and 12 all around. So. Was that, was that, that inspiration? That was it. I was oh like, my God! Ooh, I don't have any tears there, Sophie. <laughs>